Welcome to the Best of Jay Cutler, and this is the final matchup, ladies and gentlemen. This was a fun search, a good little tournament. A lot of years surprised me here. In particular, 1999, placed very low, but in my opinion was a very, very good version of Jay Cutler. Anyway, 2005 made it to the semifinals against 2001, of course, 2001 advanced, but all the while, in my opinion, 2009 is the top Jay Cutler, believe it or not, and of course my counterpart, my fellow judge, Mikey from Mikey Strength and Fitness, claims 2001 to be the GOAT of Jay Cutler. I disagree, and I believe that this, this here comparison will definitely prove me right, and we're going to begin with the friend relaxed. In which case, I guess 2001 here is definitely showing his dominance, much to my chagrin. But, hey, this is just the front relaxed position. We cannot base all of our decisions on this. Look at that small little wee waist on 2001 and those delts. Think, think, he's still in his 20s here, guys. And of course, in my opinion, that's why a lot of these guys from the 1970s, everybody says it's the golden age. They looked so good. Hey, a lot of them were in their 20s. That's probably their secret. Anyway, enough about that. 2001 is definitely edging a victory here against uh, 2009. Let's go to the front double bicep. And I thought for sure 2009 would be able to handle a one in the front double bicep, but... Let's face it, ladies and gentlemen, I don't care how biased I am. There's just no way that I can vote for 09 in this. Look at that waistline. And look at those lats. Bigger lats and a smaller waist in 01. The silhouette is just destroying this. I guess you can't go by memory alone. You see something. I watched the 2009 on the video and... I just figured for sure and seen the pictures, oh, 2009's the best. Until you do the comparisons, you cannot say. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, 2001 gets the duke in this. Let's have a look at the front lat spreads. In which case, 2009 would be winning handily if this was a contest to see who had the wackiest hairdo. But unfortunately, it is a bodybuilding contest, and I have to say... 2001. I am rapidly becoming a huge fan of the 2001 Jay Cutler, but for for goodness sakes, I can't stand when Mikey's right and I'm wrong. What a blowout here in the front lat spread. Look at the detail. Look at the thin skin. Not the best pose for all the 09 Jay Cutler, I will say. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's award another point to 01 and Head on into the next pose. And it is even more bad news for my decision making. Look how small 2009 is. I mean, yes, condition, striated glutes, blah, blah, blah. But he has lost so much size. I always assumed the 2009 Jay Cutler was a very heavy Jay Cutler in weight. But, judging my, by my comparisons here, I would say no. I would say it is definitely a leaner Jay Cutler, to say the very least. But he has lost so much lower lat meat that 2001 gets the Duke. Uh, let's have a look at the rear lat spreads. And there is some glimpses of hope for 09 here. I like the little bit of vascularity he has going on in those traps. A little bit better conditioning, of course, in the glutes. Of course, those glutes are so massive in 2001. Jay Cutler had a bedonke donk, a bedonka donk, a big bum. But, I don't know. You almost have to be biased to pick 2009 in this when you look at that lower lat meat on Jay Cutler in 2001. But hey, come on. I'm going to lean slightly towards 2009. All right, let's have a look at the most muscular poses. And this is definitely as close as 2009 has came to a victory over 01. I would almost wager to say that, yeah, 2009, with the lag development and the arm size, 
But wow, look at the chest in 2001. Dare I say that's enough to score a victory in this pose? I don't know. I think 2001 has this competition in the bag, so wouldn't hurt to give 2009 this victory, eh? Eh? Little point for 09? No? Eh? I don't know. I guess officially we're going to say 2009 gets the most muscular. Even though look at that chest in 01. Let's have a look at the ab and thigh. And even a blind man with very low self-esteem could see that 2001 is the clear winner in this ab and thigh. I've never seen Jay Cutler's abs look quite so diced up here as he has in 2001. Very good display. Ladies and gentlemen, I just can't stand this. Mikey strength and fitness. <sighs> he was right. But this is the last time. I guarantee it. 2001 is definitely winning this one. But anyway, we have a, a minute left. Let's have a look at one more pose. And this is just embarrassing for 2009. You can even see some feathering there in those triceps, I believe, in 2001. I hate when I'm wrong. But that just goes to show, it, show you, ladies and gentlemen, you can't go by just your memory on a certain shape that somebody brought to the stage you really have to do some comparisons whether you like it or not definitely 2001 takes a side tricep look at the delts impressive so there you have it ladies and gentlemen in my opinion the best jay cutler by far is the 2001 mr olympia jay cutler and don't forget if you haven't already switch over to mikey's channel mikey strength and fitness and see who he has picked and I'm, I bet dollars to donuts that 2001 will prevail, much to my chagrin. You won this time, Mikey, but the battle ain't over. We're going to have more, and I guarantee you I will be right the next time. Anyway, I would like to thank Jay Cutler, of course, for all of his hard work and dedication, for all the good versions that he brought to the Olympia, sta Olympia stage. Of course, without him. The series would not be possible. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a good day.